welcome dear students from today we are going to learn or start the second semester topic from ch i 230 course second section that is bio inorganic chemistry before to start this topic let me understood the syllabus included for this section in this section we are going to learn here second semester there are the four subject first chp 210 which includes the physical chemistry here in this physical chemistry you have to learn molecular spectroscopy and nuclear chemistry this is a four credit course here 48 lectures plus 12 tutorial second course is chi 230 course that is inorganic chemistry second it includes the two section first it is coordination chemistry and second one is the bio inorganic chemistry here we are going to learn this bio inorganic chemistry and the coordination chemistry will taught by the sanem madam okay the sec a third that is cho 250 course in this there is a organic chemistry second part is there it includes the photochemistry pericycle and organic spectroscopy okay and the last course that is chg 290 course these are the elective course also it includes the two section first section that is general chemistry theory paper and the second section includes the practicals here in the first section we are going to learn the b option here there are the three options student can choose any of one but here we choose the elective option b that is organometallic and inorganic reaction mechanism because this topic is very very important for your net set examination that's why we choose this topic that is organometallic and uh, what the uh, inorganic reaction mechanism and in second section uh, there are two elective options for the practical we are going to learn the first option option a that is the electrolyte electroanalytical technique of the analysis okay and the last course that is one the chp 227 that is a practical basic practical chemistry course so let's start with understanding our section that is section 2 which is the two credit course having 24 lectures and six tutorial that course name is bio inorganic chemistry the first section that is coordination chemistry taught by sanem madam and the second question second section that is bio inorganic chemistry will be taught by me okay let's see the syllabus included for this section or for this semester first that is what the overview of bio inorganic chemistry in that overview we are going to learn the historical background and the current relevance or role of the copper fe manganese molybdenum in metalloprotein and metallo enzymes the second uh, topic is the concepts of inorganic chemistry in bio inorganic chemistry okay that means what here we are going to learn the thermodynamic aspect chilet effect ironing williams series pk value coordination ligand tuning of redox potential biopolymer effect kinetic aspect all these aspect we are going to learn in this topic that means role of inorganic elements in the bio inorganic chemistry that will be learned in this topic here they are divided into the two aspect first that is thermodynamic aspect and the second one that is a kinetic aspect okay the third topic that is what the function 
and the transport of the alkali and the alkaline earth metal ion that is what the importance of alkali and alkaline earth metal their distribution of cationic and anionic electrolytes in blood plasma and intracellular fluid La, uh, next we are going to learn that is the ionophore natural and synthetic application of the ionophore different mechanism involving in exchange of ion across the cell wall and also learn the sodium potassium pump and the last topic that is what biochemistry of the following elements that is what the calcium in a blood coagulation magnesium in photosystem 1 magnesium magnesium in photosystem 2 then iron in ferritin transferritin fes cluster porphyrin based system for learning this topic we get some references that is the principle of bioorganic chemistry by the hj lippard and jm burke second reference you can uh, see that is bio inorganic chemistry or inorganic element in chemistry of life by w kem and b jovedersky okay this is about our syllabus so let's start with the introduction bio inorganic chemistry what is the bio inorganic chemistry this is an interdisciplinary science, scientific branch that examines the chemistry of the inorganic entities or inorganic elements within the biological and biochemical system what it includes it includes the study of naturally occurring inorganic elements and artificial introduction of the metal into a biological system as a probe to determine the structure and function of the biomolecules and a drug to treat the different type of the diseases next uh, include it includes the investigation of the inorganic element in the nutrition purpose and also the research on the toxicity of the inorganic species okay so let's start with the basic introduction of the essential inorganic elements these are classified into the two types first that is the bulk elements and the second that is the trace element what is the bulk elements bulk, bulk elements that is the elements which can be required by the living organism in a large quantity that means the element which is uh, required large amount for example oxygen carbon hydrogen nitrogen phosphorus sulfur sodium potassium magnesium calcium chloride etc here uh, that means what oxygen this is required the bulk quantity if you doesn't get the oxygen for a few second you know what happened in this corona situation okay if patient doesn't get the oxygen they uh, this patient going to die that means you know the importance of the oxygen likewise here the carbon hydrogen are very important required the large amount how because the number of food uh, which we take every day that food are nothing but the carbohydrates different types of the carbohydrates this carbohydrates are what the organic compound and this organic compound made from what the carbon and the hydrogen specially okay then this calcium which is useful for making the bone etc that's why these all these elements are required in a large quantities next time that's a trace element this element that means what the required the element which is required by the living organism in a very very minute quantity here there are eight 19 elements which are required for the humans in very minute quantity these elements are fe cu zinc magnesium mo molybdenum cobalt chromium vanadium nickel cadmium tin lead lithium boron fluorine iodine selenium silicon and arsenic 
why this element required very less and if this uh, elements require very very minor quantity when then why we take this ka apan ghetho the nahi ghetla tari chalel na khupach kami quantity ahe but this element is very important for making a building block for for the different system for the example fe this fe which is present in the hemoglobin what you know very well the function of the hemoglobin hemoglobin is the oxygen transport in our body okay from lung to every body then uh, here the uh, you know the uh, structure of the hemoglobin in the hemoglobin the fe which is present at the center and here which binds all the ligands together that means we require only one fe and it binds the number of bulky porphyrin ring um, at the central metal atom okay and this porphyrin ring which is the made from the organic compound that is a carbon and hydrogen okay if the fe is absent then what happen this porphyrin ring which cannot be comes together which cannot be hold properly and that's why here the function of the porphyrin to bind the oxygen and transfer to our body which cannot be possible that's why here the fe is very very important and that is require very minute quantity instead of that this is very very important okay likewise here the cobalt magnesium uh, these are present in the chlorophyll here Uh, vitamin which is uh, in the vitamin there are the cobalt is present all these metals which has the function for as a building block as a uh, binding character okay and that's why these are very important let me see the function of the metal ion in a biologic biochemical process this is used as a cofactor in enzymes structural entities they are control of metabolic pathway and other mechanisms as a oxygen carrier like the hemoglobin it maintain of the, maintains the osmotic pressure ph and regulatory action of our body example is the sodium potassium pump let me see in the another picture like here this is the uh, what sodium potassium pump you can see here okay here what happen there are the sodium and potassium is there this are what is the function of this metal which are useful in a what sodium potassium pump what is the function the sodium potassium pump by the concentration of the sodium and potassium inside the cell and outside the cell which regulate the ph osmotic pressure blood pressure of our body okay that's why this is very important next efe what is the function of efe which is very important in the hemoglobin myoglobin cytochrome and the ferredoxin here if you doesn't understand all this uh, word we have don't worry we will learn all this concept in details okay here this is but this diagram or this functions are very important for your mcq point of view so uh, then uh, afterward we will learn in a detail of all this concept okay so don't worry about that here the let next let's start the next metal that is cobalt which is useful in the vitamin b12 then copper which is useful for what the uh, hemocyanin carboxypeptidase and the carbonic anhydrase yeah, in that the copper and the zinc are very important metals okay and the calcium and magnesium which is useful for making the bones let me say the met, uh, in details or this uh, chart is very important for your mcq uh, point of view here th there are the functions and of the different metals in different system which is present in our body let me see the important role of metal play in the biochemistry first that is the sodium and potassium 
So this sodium potassium mostly useful in the regulatory action. In what? In the sodium potassium channel or it is also called as a sodium potassium pump. What they do the function over there? They are very useful for the nerve signal. They are provide the signal to our body, body to the muscles. Okay. Impulses. They are also useful in the action potentials and muscle contraction. Okay. Here remember that regulatory action done by sodium potassium which is useful in the sodium potassium pump and what they do their function their nerve nerve signals impulses action potential and muscle contraction all these uh, a, every word is very important always ask in the net set examination and also in your uh, exams okay the second Structural role. Who done the structural role? Calcium and magnesium. Uh, here we know only the calcium which done the structural but not calcium and magnesium both are very useful in, as a structural role. In what? The bones and the teeth. What they do over there? They provide strength and rigidity to the bone and the teeth. Okay. Next is what? The Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus. They are useful in electron transfer agents. Okay. They are present in cytochrome as what? Redox intermediates. We will learn this topic in detail also. Okay. What they do there? Uh, here, what is the function of the, that Fe2 plus and Fe3 plus? The membrane bound protein that contains the heme group and carry out the electron and transport in oxidative phosphorylation process that means they provide the electrons where they want or the excess of proton which can be formed during the any phosphorylation process and the another, another process they capture that ele uh, excess of electron they store it and then uh, transport where they required okay next is what zinc the zinc is very important for the metalloenzymes. These are used in carbonic hydrates and what carboxy peptides. What they do over there? They biocatalyst. They are used as what biocatalyst to cut. Okay, and uh, cut CO2 to HCO3 minus and also put. They are useful in the protein digestion process. Okay. Next, that is Fe and copper. This Fe and copper, which is used in oxygen carrier and the storage. In where? In the hemoglobin, myoglobin, and the hemocyanin. All this concept we will learn in details afterward. Okay. Then, what is the function of that? Here, the Fe and copper have 18 times more energy from the glucose in presence of the oxygens okay the last one that is the cobalt which is useful in the metalloenzymes in vitamin b12 their function is biomethylation they do their biomethylation process okay thank you very much for watching these uh, videos next time we will learn the structure of metalloenzymes okay thanks for watching this video